Hello everybody. I'm gonna check on my cucumber seeds though. So I put a few squash seeds out there and the old squash seeds I was trying to trying to grow they they didn't work. All the cucumbers are looking pretty nice. I put a whole bunch of seeds in here and only one of these came up. I don't well it looks like something's breaking right there. Two of them came up in here. It looks like something might be breaking right there. Only three of the Olympian cucumbers came up. Oh, there's another one coming up right there. Nothing came up in that one. And all of the mercury cucumbers from Hossuels came up. So that's that's really nice. I gave everything a shot of little fertilizer juice yesterday. So uh, this thing was doing great. And it even has roots on it, but something, I don't know what happened to it. And then, uh, see, uh, none of those old squash seeds really, really did anything. I'm going to just cram it in there. Well, I think I got, I'm going to just, whatever. I don't think it's going to work. Anyway, uh, everything else in here, the parsley looks good. I can put it in the ground. Cilantro looks good. I can go put it in the little gills. A couple of them made it, three of them. And uh, the rose starts. Some of them made it, some of them didn't. That one didn't, <laughs> but these did. And that one's not gonna make it. This one, yeah, it might, it might. And that one looks like it's doing spectacular over there. It is. <clears throat> the old pepper plants coming alive. This, damn, they still doing good. This one had green on it, but now it doesn't, so hmm, I think it's not going to go. But these definitely are going to come through with what they need. <sighs> it is wet. My wife was telling me this morning that uh, this area has had the wettest year, wettest March on record since 1940-something. I don't know that's a long time I believe and this is just I mean that water flows down what I, I had this this was all the same height the reason it looks like rose is because that's just where I walked and compressed the uh, soil but it acts like it really worked perfect because it acts like a drainage that water comes down and hits this and rolls off over this way straight off you can kind of see how it is and uh man it's just so much water I still got a few seed starts I can use to replace any lost, but everything seems to be managing with the huge amount of water now. Even some of these are starting to show some flowers being put on, but I'm, I'm hoping it dries up. We're supposed to get rain maybe today and tomorrow and the next day and then it's supposed to dry up, but some of these look terrible and you can see the wet ain't helping the bottom. I'm gonna have to come and cut them off. Look, look at the roots forming up the uh, branch. I mean, that water was flowing around these, and that one looks pretty pathetic. That's a homestead. I might have a few left. I think. And look, that don't. That just looks bad. So we're gonna see what happens. I mean, this. Look, dang. That's. Oh, man. Look, that's my footprint from the other day. Jeez. So let's just hope and pray that this can start to dry up a little bit. I mean, tomatoes usually can handle some water, but this is a lot of water to handle. Well, it gets better up here, a little bit drier. These are some gold nuggets and uh, let's get some flowers on that plant. These black crema, they're hanging in there, they're hanging in. These yellow pads are doing all right. That one little lone uh, mountain vineyard, it's, I don't know, it's, it's going to go. It's going to go. That that one laying down, I guess the wind got it. It's just, it's, I'm going to have to stake some of these up. But they, they already got flowers on them. These right here are mortgage lifters. They're doing all right. And the Romans are doing pretty darn good uh, some of them i lost earlier but these, yeah they're doing all right i mean they're they gonna make it we're we gonna come out of this we'll come out of this 
and uh we'll be all about a foot that's why i planted so many tomato plants because uh oh the the uh heirloom beef steaks are really doing doing great and this uh hybrid variety that saves seeds from they boy they really this is the only one that hasn't really shot up but they are really taking off and look there's a pepper plant i put in the ground it's doing all right and those peppers is they handling it anyway the cucumbers are going to go in soon along this fence and if it ever dries up i'll put them over there anyway that's that's it for this i'm gonna be harvesting some carrots today and uh, i'm gonna get the tractor and it's already late because I have to go to the feed and seed store so, uh, to get those cattle panels. So I'm a little bit behind the, behind the eight ball already this morning. We, we still got plenty of day left though. All right. The, I had planted a whole bunch of uh, pole beans up in here. And I think a lot of them probably washed out with all that rain. You can see a couple of them came up. But I should be having a whole bunch more come up by now. I mean, look. There's one. Look, here's one right here. And uh, I was kind of trying to do a comparison of sides. And in between here, there should have been some come up. I don't see any of those coming up but i don't know if they washed out or anything I, either they rotted or washed out or time will tell here's one coming up that's one of the seed savers i did yeah there's another one all right some of them are coming up this uh man the beans are there i can see some of them washed up but See where I got those from because I like seeds. I hope they come up. They don't seem to be coming up at all. Anywhere. Huh. Uh, oh, okay. One, one. One seed came up. Huh. But look, this is the problem. <laughs> I mean, jeez. Jeez. This is terrible. Oh. Oh. I don't know. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Put some more seeds down when it dries up a bit. The potatoes are loving this root. I mean. Look, oh. I put down. I think that's a super sweet. I think it's either yellow nugget. Yellow, yellow pear or gold nugget. And this is the other mountain vineyard. Look how much weather it's doing. It's a little bit dry in this going up here. <laughs> and it's doing, this one's doing spectacular. Hmm. Oh, well, too much water. This is the potatoes I just planted last time. The, the water washed off of the potato. I'm gonna have to come in here when it dries up with a hoe and kind of rebury them. Because look, I mean, I don't know what else. Huh. The water just washed all the dirt out when I had it on top of them, so mm, I don't know. We'll see. But the plants are just really tearing off. Look at the other ones. These were the last ones to go in right here in this row. So they're a little bit behind. But I planted the Yukon Gold down this row uh, real early. The Freeze got them, but they jumped right back up. I mean, they were right back in the game. A week later, they were coming back big time so 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 much so with the pontiac reds that little side right there that, that little corner right here has always been a problematic corner i need to do something with the soil here put some more compost in it and mulch uh but that row of pontiac reds is beautiful and the ones right here and they, they just doing and here's some potatoes that we pulled out of our refrigerator my wife gave me they doing good and then some of co worker gave me. Hey, <laughs> we'll see. It'll make a potato. Wasn't really going to film too much today, but I decided to go ahead and do a little bit of the, uh, the uh, new garden. Everything seems to be coming along. That's the 
test hybrids that are seeds from hybrid. This is a uh, heirloom big beef. These two right here, I think, just are some kind of. I think that's sweet 100s, but the rest of them, tomatoes that are on this row, are uh, celebrity. And then Homestead and Rutgers at, after the poll. Roma. And then Yellow Pear. And then Golden Nugget. And then this is Mortgage Lifter and Black Crim. We had a storm come through last night. And really wetted up everything nice and good. Everything got watered. But uh, this is one of the things I wanted to show. Already starting to get little tomatoes in there. This is uh, April 8th, and I'm already starting to see tomatoes. Definitely got tomatoes, yeah. Yeah, there's a there's one right there. A few here and there, sporadic ones. So, looking good. The tomatoes that were shocked or stunted are starting to come back and make their rise up. But most of these are doing really well. They almost all got flowers on them somewhere, or something, somehow or another. And, uh, I probably need to get some calcium nitrate down on them because they're starting to form tomatoes already. I didn't expect that this early. Oh, Stop sliding. Yep, tomatoes already. Got a few of the cucumbers in. Oh, some down on that corner. And, uh, right there, there's a Todd Basil. Zucchini squash down. That's them right there. And right here. They're doing fine. Cukes. Doing okay. And they really took off after they got into the ground. They started growing. Ooh, that heat is really. Today's heat is. It's hot. So. They're growing. Anyway, I really didn't want to make too much of a video today because uh, I'm going to make, before I put another video up, I'm going to make another go around and take a look at everything, see how everything's doing. But this is doing fine. I'm going to have to stake this up soon, real soon. All right, talk to y'all. All right, y'all, every now and then you run into something that's new and unexpected. I'm kind of new to potato growing. I grew potatoes last year. But, uh, if y'all look at here, let's see, let me the, see these two potatoes, they threw me for a loop. See, what I was doing here, is I was coming through, I'm going to fertilize, and I did fertilize, but I was pulling some furrow lines, kind of close, but not right up on top of them. But I, started, I, I thought I was pulling up some of the seed potatoes. I thought that might have been some seed potatoes I put in. But I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to walk her down the line. Now, I see, uh, I see a couple here. And then I see, that's not the seed potato. And I was going to heal these potatoes. You ain't supposed to have a potato grow above the ground like that. But, uh, look at here. That is not all seed potatoes. <clears throat> That's not all seed potatoes. That there, that is not seed potatoes. That's, that's my potatoes. I had, I did, I mean, they're all over in there. 
there's potatoes all up in there. I mean, look, look at this. There's potatoes everywhere. And the water's washed the dirt off of the top of them. So I am gonna hill these right now. I'm gonna do what I can. I'm gonna cultivate and get that grog, that that dirt turned up. I mean, I might even back the trail in here and tractor in here and till all of this and get some fresh dirt and pull it. But hmm. I don't really want you around here. I don't want to do no harm to you, but I really don't want you around here. I don't know what you're capable of. But it, that's crazy that this, that would have been potatoes I'd be happy to have. They ain't, I am happy to have it. I'm going to keep those two potatoes right there. I'm right here. Perfect. I mean, you can see I kind of took the skin off of them, but when I was cultivating. But <laughs> I didn't. I, I had no idea they would be that big already. I mean, I, I was happy with getting these harvested last year that big. I can't imagine what's getting ready to happen with the rest of them. So, I'm going to put these last few little green, green plants in the ground and hope for the best. And I'm going to put some of the seeds I had left over from my... And I'm going to hope for the best. It's a little late for that. Do something, but... Those potatoes just threw me for a shock. I did not expect that. So there y'all go. Uh, it's uh, mm, early, almost mid-April, April 11th, I believe, today. And I got potatoes that would be, to me, good enough to harvest right now. And I shouldn't be harvesting these till late May, maybe even June and they already there i don't know something weird okay thank you for that. okay see i was doing it again and <laughs> a yukon gold came up i was cultivating right here you can't get too close to them i'm trying to pull that dirt so i can I turn up that dirt so i can pull it and hill them that's pulling up potatoes <laughs> There must be a bunch of potatoes on there. I'm hoping that's what that means. I hope that means there's so many potatoes on there, I don't know what to do it. But I'm going to go get a hoe and pull some of that dirt and put them on top, make sure them potatoes ain't exposed to the sun. Because some of them are. So I got to hill them. All right, got fertilizer on them. I, I, I have high expectations for potatoes this year now. I thought it was going to be terrible with all the, uh, I thought it was going to just be horrible with all the rain we had. I, th I thought we were going to have a bad go at it. So I put some more seeds out right here for the uh, beans. I put some more bean plants, the, the last few I had. They ain't too many, you know. Why? Man, everything just rotted. All the beans... I, I'm not going to blame the manufacturer. I mean, it's just been a wet year. My safe seeds did come up decent enough, so I put some more of those down. I thought those would be the worst ones, but they were actually pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and give it a check. But those potatoes are shocking me. I mean, they ain't nowhere near close to being ready. But I'm getting potatoes. I'm pulling up a few potatoes that are really just you know not too bad that's not too bad two uh pontiac reds and a yukon go huh. okay all right hello everybody this is uh april 14th i believe and uh this is ridiculous we've been getting rain every freaking day and this is like river rapids coming through here right here and uh i mean it's almost up over the boot if i yeah it's coming it's coming through whoa 
it's just non-stop rain one, one, one wave after another and it's going to be doing this again tomorrow it's non-stop it's, the whole growing season has been screwed up because of this non-stop rain and I mean I know as a farmer uh, homestead or whatever you gotta you gotta deal with what's dealt to you but this is just a little bit more than normal <laughs> And I haven't been out here long enough to know what real normal is, but I know this ain't it. And, uh, this is the water coming through the, uh, garden that I just made this year. And it, you can see it, that's washed out my, that's, uh, black crims basically got washed out right there. The, uh. That's a uh, mortgage lift is a gone. Uh, uh, I got maybe three of them, four, maybe, I don't know, five left. But look, that's the water coming through. It's like rivers coming through the aisles of the garden. And I was uh, talking to my dad earlier and I was saying this is more, more like a hydroponic experiment than a a garden experiment this is it's just non-stop water and I know these tomatoes can't hold up to this too much longer I mean these have been in the ground so, oh look at this look at that I am <laughs> I'm sinking down to oh god up to my ankles in this look at that I mean this is this is a uh, look at the roots on that tomato just out of the ground they're living and they're alive so I'll see what happens but this is not a good thing look at the water coming through look at the water just coming through it's coming back over there from way up there it's coming down the hill it's supposed to be in that trenage right there but it's all it's just everywhere it's just everywhere <sighs> this is a nightmare I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I might have to build this whole thing up look at that that's a tomato right there that's a tomato right there it's just Yeah, well, what you gonna do? Hey, over there, the uh, cucumbers and the squash look like they're doing okay. I had some cucumbers over here. Let's see, there's one left. And there's one underwater right here. That ain't no good. And then the whole rest of them are gone. They're gone. I don't know where they're at, but they own. Who was that? Someone was over there in my front yard. I don't know who that was. But anyway, what you gonna do? Uh, hope for the best at the end. Maybe it'll dry out. I bet you a month from now, I'm gonna be complaining about a drought. It's just the way it is. Anyway, I just figured I'd show you all what... You know, I'm glad right now, at this point in time, I'm glad I'm not a farmer. Because if this was my living, if this was what I had to do for, to bring, put food on my family's table, we'd be in damn dire straits right now. Oh, God. This is, the squash ain't doing too bad. Look at that. But look, look at these beautiful tomatoes just falling over. I mean, they, look, they growing roots all up and down their stems because just non-stop water it's just like water roots all up and down the tomato stem and I know these peppers that's a pepper that's a pepper that's a pepper they ain't looking too good all right y'all that's about all I got for today I ain't got nothing I ain't doing nothing no work or nothing out here so there ain't nothing to do except for just cross your fingers and hope pray that something's gonna happen better all right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.